everybody, it's Jonathan Bellano with Bellano Home. I'm here with Seth Mintz and Anna De Silva from Equity National Title, and they're here to talk to you about uh, what their role is in the real estate process um, from the title portion. Um, so Seth, uh, just from a high level real quick. Um, well, first of all, thank you for joining me. Of course, thanks I appreciate for you uh, guys sitting here with us and trying to help out the viewers out there uh, understand um, the real estate process even better than um, what it is already. Uh, so first question would be, uh, what is Equity National Title um, from a high level? What are you guys responsible for in the real estate transaction process? So from a high level, um, we're a national title and closing company. Mm -hmm. So we work with credit unions, mortgage companies, banks, um, other all different types of lenders, whether brokers or wholesale. Um, our job is to do the title search as well as do the closings on those. Mm -hmm. So some of the products that we offer are for purchases, refinances, home equity, mortgages, um, uh, pretty much anything that has to do with the real estate transaction we can handle. Um, we're also connected to a law firm that we can help with the purchases on the negotiation side and the purchase and sales. So we're heavily involved on the purchase side with communication and putting all of that together to be the communication point for the realtors as mm -hmm. well as the borrowers. All right. And so at what point is it in the transaction process that you guys actually could get involved? Who's the one that contacts you? And uh, uh, where, where does it begin, basically? Um, it usually starts either with the real with the realtor or the loan originator. Mm -hmm. um, they usually reach out to us with the um, either the application saying, "Hey, we've taken this application. This person is looking to purchase a home." Um, usually, they send us a purchase and sale, or they'll reach out to us and say, "We need help drafting the purchase and sale." Cool. And so, um, just jump right towards the end. What at what point are you guys there until? and when you actually drop off the, the transaction process. We are there from the beginning all the way through till it closes and funds awesome. and records. All right, um, so that's really great to hear uh, and that's really informational for everybody out there so that way they know um, what they need to do when they get to that point of, of the real estate transaction where you guys come into play. Um, all right, so we've uh, gotten the beginning portion, we've gotten the end portion, we know what you guys do. Um, now, what is it in between? What, what, what's the process that you guys actually go through when you actually do actually get contacted by the law? So I can leave that to Anna since she's um, our paralegal. Awesome. We're taking the contract and we are the main point of communication. So we're reaching out to all parties, introducing ourselves, mm -hmm. um, letting everybody know that I'm the person you're contacting for anything, issues, non-issues, scheduling, title issues, questions. That's the very first thing that I'm doing in the beginning of the process. Awesome. And so uh, right after that happens, uh, and that communication happens, so what do you guys do next? Next we order title, mm -hmm. um, make sure the search comes back. We are underwriting it, reviewing it, and then distributing it to all parties to let them know how the title came back. All right, and so if the title comes back and let's say there's a lien, um, or there are any liens that are, are there per mm -hmm. se, um, what happens from there? From there, um, our communication is directed towards a listing agent, seller, or seller's attorney, mm -hmm. um, so they can help us obtain the information that we need to clear the title. Cool. All right. Um, so then you communicate that with the agent, and then pretty much get to the point where they're good to close. Yep. So once we get all that information in, um, our title is clear to close. Mm -hmm. We're now communicating with the lender. Um, once that communication is all set and they're clear to close, that's mm -hmm. when we reach back out to all parties to schedule the closing. Cool. And so what happens if in a situation the title isn't clear and there are a couple of liens on there? Um, so we work here either directly with the seller or the listing agent to clear them. Mm -hmm. um, so we're contacting banks for discharges, that type of thing, or reaching out to the seller's attorney to let them know what issues need to be resolved. And how, what are some of the things that you guys do normally to get that resolved? Um, it would depend on who's handling it, but if we're handling it here for the seller, mm -hmm. we're working with them to get account numbers, bank names, that type of thing, so we can call them and figure out what we need to get to cool. close. So you basically help them fix uh, the, the liens that are on the property? Yep, or any title issue, to be honest with you. Great, and I think um, one of the last times that we spoke about this, um, this is really not anything that you guys can't do as far as figuring out how to get this stuff taken care of. Nope, haven't come across that one. Pretty once. much seen it all. <clears throat> That's awesome. That's actually really good to hear. All right, so after the scheduling takes place, what's the next step from there? Closing. Closing. Um, preparing closing documents, getting everybody to the table, having everybody sign, record, and cut checks. Everybody walks away happy with their keys and their money, and we're good to go. Bang, bang, boom. Exactly right. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Well, um, once again, I want to thank you guys for sitting down with us and uh, letting everybody know um, what it is that you guys do. Um, everybody else, 
Um, I want to thank you guys for joining us again. Uh, know that all of our information is here, and their information I'm going to pop right up after this, as I always do. Uh, thanks again once again for joining. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the comments and the likes. I really appreciate it. Um, and we will see you guys next time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.